before I get started on this video, uh, I want to give a shout out to two of my main inspirations with this research. Uh, first one is the Tartarian Meltdown, Red Bricks to the Dome. I uh, definitely advise you to go over and check out his stuff, check out his two documentaries. Uh, link in the description. Other inspiration I want to share with you is John Levi. Um, he puts out weekly videos. Um, you definitely want to check out his stuff too if you're interested in the stuff I'm going to show you. And like I said, link in the description. So let's get started with some of the pictures I'd like to share in this video. Now some of the pictures I have here um, will come with place names. Some of them I don't have the names for. But Zimbabwe. Crimea. For Gemma Castle, this comes up a, bit, a few times here. See a lot of these what look like buildings just sort of blended into the cliff. Turkey. Uh, Petra in Jordan. Greece. A lot of the explanations for some of these. Um, official history has them being created with tools that really don't make sense as far as how this stuff gets um, created. And I'm definitely leaning more toward what we're looking at here is some sort of meltification. And when we see buildings or remnants of buildings, we're looking at what is now being called pockets of survival. This is in Africa. Look closely at this. A lot of the buildings at the bottom. You have a series of these caves. as well. You get this dripping, this dark streaks of dripping, something that tells me that we're looking at some sort of scorching. So similar to the way uh, marshmallow is cooked on a fire, uh, I think we might be looking at the changing of the state of matter from what was once building material into what we now call cliffs rocks mountains, whatever you want to call it. Something something doesn't sit right with me with the official explanation. So I wanted to share some of this with you. This is in India. Very, very hard, hard rock. Very difficult to carve into these locations. Even by today's standards and technologies. Same place in India. You see the statues, figurines carved into the rock, the archways.
Kazakhstan now. Canadian Rockies. France. Not much remnants here. Uh, pockets of survival. But again, you see interesting formations in the rock itself and a definite, definite melt look to it. Spain. You definitely see so it looks like the what's left of a tower on either side here. Same place in Spain. California. Saudi Arabia looking much like uh, what we saw in Jordan. And I really can't explain what happened to these buildings. I'm just trying to provide an alternate explanation to the carving theory. Again, looking like some bubbling. Arizona now. Okay, that's streaking. And what's left of whatever buildings may have been here. Still have a bit of a shape to them. This one here, somewhere in between. Very interesting. Historical narrative doesn't allow for a lot of this too. Again in Arizona. Pocket of survival. A lot of researchers bring up the whole point that uh, it doesn't make sense to have gotten up into these areas and just carved into a cliff face. Uh, it looks to me more like something that was much more intact, similar to what we're seeing here. And then something happened as far as... All I can think of is heat. A high amount of heat, maybe electricity induced. Circuit board earth theory is interesting. Australia, here's rock. Seen similar formations in other places. It's definitely again a dripping here, melted dripping. That's what it looks like to me. Again, similar area. Let's see, if you've ever had an ice cream just sit in the sun, the surface of the ice cream starts to look like this. many of what are called monasteries now and it's basically just the remnants of something in the, in the face of a cliff. Get a good visual here. Things that don't really make sense. Of course you have these intact structures with the gold tops too. Especially in this area of the world. Uh, left any longer um, this may have come right over the top and then just completely enclosed this area for, for some reason that uh, didn't occur and that melting process froze in the state leaving us what we have down here is still a usable space it's in the Ukraine 
These are the Bamiyan Buddhas in Iraq. I believe that these statues were blown up um, after the 9-11. Um, the whole cliffside here is filled with these apertures. And again, it doesn't make sense to have these just sitting however many feet up. They're just illogical to me. Illogical. This is a drawing of the Bamiyan Buddhas. They're a bit more further out here. You get a good idea of the area surrounding where the Buddha once sat. You see all the apertures here, out here. So, really look like, looking like it, it is laid to waste, nothing like it once was. This is in the Dogon area, in Africa. And again you're seeing this whole curtain above, looking like it wants to just swallow up what's left here. Without the buildings. That or the official narrative, which is um, the natives of the area climbed up into this cliff and built these cylindrical structures, partial cylindrical structures, and decided they were going to live in them. Bit of melt, some rock work here, or brick work here, block work, uh, merging into the melt. This is in Banff, Canada. A bit melty here for sure. Israel. Can you get the definition? And we get the sheer rock faces and the blending of the two, and some are halfway in between. And this gives you that scorching feeling. See, there's the apertures that we just saw in the previous picture. Inside a cave now in Hungary. Hungary again, you can see here, this is what looks like a, some sort of dome with something would have been on top. And what's left of entrances, windows, very circular here. India. Look at the detail here. So we're to believe that this was all carved out. And what this section here, they just decided uh, we're not going to complete that. Or we're going to let the apprentice do the work here. The master gets this portion, and the apprentice just gets to, to chisel away and not do such a good job of it. Hmm. Doesn't add up to me. Looks to me like, and the discoloration up here, like like some high heat event. Started a bit of a melting process. Some of it, some of it preserved, some of it not. Bhutan. You see a lot of these in this part of the world as well. Built right into the face of a cliff, or what was left over. Still a livable space. Same area. Really quite beautiful. I always look at the, the point where the building blends into what we call the rock or the mountain. Real, really blurred lines there. Hard to tell where the separation occurs. Same here when the buildings work their way right into the cliff. Very difficult to build like that too. Very, very difficult. Bosnia. Somewhere in between rock walls. Stonework above the rock walls. Don't work here. Here. Just looks like something that was scorched and the scorching was unfinished.
Croatia. We have that same effect of the buildings working their way into the, uh, into the cave sort of openings. We have that dripping look again on the rock. Got got building faces sort of just in the face of the cliff. Very interesting. Bryce Canyon, Utah. Archway is looking very uniform. Doesn't fit our historical narrative, so most people will just shrug it off, but not so uh, I'm not sold on the historical narrative of the time. I think we've been sold sold a lemon. Budapest, Hungary. Look again. Now oh, it's just works its way right into the building or into the cliff. You can't really distinguish the difference between what is man made and what is what we call natural. Korea. Bulgaria. I think I'm going to cut the video off here. We'll call it part one. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.